They will likely come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault, but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will we be victorious. For now, we light the fires, warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by surviving. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous in the upper village. Understood? Yes! Understood! Good. Now go. The prophet <laughs> Lara, I could use your help. Our people are spread thin across the valley. If you light the signal tower, they'll know that the danger is imminent. I'll do what I can. Once the fire is lit, they'll know what to do. Followers of the Prophet fled, but they were attacked in Syria. You're the one that came with Jacob. I have something to ask of you. What can I help you with? Jacob told me you've got a knack for exploring. There are more old places, tombs all around the valley. You may have seen the wards placed there to frighten children. It's not superstition. Those places are dangerous, but they also hold relics of our former glory. Not just trinkets, but knowledge. I believe we need that wisdom now more than ever. A decade ago, I'd have gone myself, but now I could use your skills. The scouts tell me you've already been inside one of the old tombs. Would you share what you've learned with us? Of course. They belong to your people. We don't have much, but I have these old coins. If gold has value to you, I can give you some for every secret you find. When you discover a tomb and retrieve the knowledge hidden inside, return to me. You'll be rewarded for your efforts, I promise.
Aurora, the physician. The road to Katesh was long and hard. Infirmity, illness, and injury abounded. Aurora was a believer trained in the ways of Hippocrates and the great Roman healers. It is because of her that so many survived the journey to Katesh. It is her legacy that knowledge of healing continues to be passed down among believers.
Lara. Our people have been warned. That should give them time to evacuate. Meet me in the upper village. I'm gathering our forces here. All right. sort of marker. Byzantine script, but I can't quite make it out. An iron coin with one side cut and shaped into a crude claw tool, perhaps to remove nails. Jacob, helicopters are headed your way. Get here as fast as you can. Get behind the barricade. Move, move. Look out! They have the cover. Come back. Stay together. Where is the divine source? Tell me! Stop! Don't hurt anyone else! Stop. Where is it? Wait! Wait! There's a map. The Atlas. It will show you the way. Okay. Tell me about this Atlas. Hey. <laughs>
you burn! should have killed her. You have nothing to show for your efforts. Perhaps she'll succeed where you're failing. I will not fail! Trinity will step in if you do. And you know what that means? I'm expendable. They have no interest in my survival. I need the power of the Source! <coughs> and you will have it. Don't lose faith, Anna. This is God's will. Our success is inevitable. Please, just find it. My time is running out. endured so much. These final barriers that you have set before me, these sins you have forced me to commit, they must have a purpose. Only you can show me the way. Grant me strength to continue for her, for you, for Trinity. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. Your people don't deserve this. It is our chosen path. Our duty. It's never been easy. I understand what it's like to lose people. Trinity won't stop, will they? I doubt it. They have many resources. And the Atlas? It's an ancient map to the old city. But Trinity won't find it at that tower. Many of my people live in those ruins. They won't be prepared for what's coming. I can help them, Jacob. Will you do this for us? Or for that which you seek? Right now, they're one and the same. I'll be back with reinforcements after I've tended to the wounded. Yes. I need bandages. What is it? We're in bad shape, Jacob. The attack left us in shambles, and we have no one to send to the Acropolis. I know. I'll see to the wounded here. We have to get them to someplace safe. When that's done,
I still can't see straight. Hold still. Everything's blurry. That's to be expected with a blow to the head. But it... It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice, but I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet, and the city, are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. It will get better, right? I can't, I can't say it's a leg. The wound is too severe. What do you... What do you say? I have to cut it off. I'm sorry. No! You Are you hurt? No, you can't! You're not taking my leg! Can You're not! Is, is that you, you Jacob? Lucky? That hurts! Watch, it's going to hurt no matter what I take. Of course, hold still. Where is your father? Why is his... I wish you could see the view from my tent, Lara. The dig looks so beautiful in the early evening, when the last embers of the sunlight dying upon a good day's work. Then, one by one, the fires are lit, and the smell of roasting meat wafts across the camp. They tell me that it's guinea pig. I decline it. Roth ate too. Maybe next time I'll bring you out here too. How did your history test go? Those were my happiest memories, Dad, being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that, feeling that I was part of something important. I aced that test, by the way.